when Muhammad he said that this little child before he grow old the, judge, the, the hour will come the judgment day and then nothing happened where Muhammad he got his uh, And the Muslim, they try, they try to fix it. Look what they add between bracket. Muhammad, he was speaking to a bunch of Abdul, potatoes. No shape, no form, no face, no ass. They are very flexible, taqiyya. And it's reported that the person asked Allah Messenger as to whom the last hour would come. He had in his presence a young boy of Al Ansar who was called Muhammad. Who you know who was called? Come here. So Muhammad said, "This young boy, lives, he might not grow very old till you see the last hour coming to you." Do you see it? People, do you see it? Can Muhammad say, well, I am the son, I do not know the hour I was making things up? Jesus, he made it clear. I do work, my father work. He gave me the power over the flesh. I will be the judge. My father, it is for the Father. What is for the Father? The Son, He do what the Son do. The Father do what the, son, the Father do. If the Son is the same as the Father, then we do not need to call them Son and Father. They're the same person, then. But we don't believe in such a thing. And then you will see that Jesus... And here you see the hypocrisy, how they skip all the chapter, which is amazingly shown as the divine nature of the Messiah. They skip all of this. And they go to one verse. And they don't want you to read verses before it or even verses after it. All of this is about the future. Do you see it? Jesus is talking about the judgment day. All of this is about Judgment Day. When those things happen, and this happen, and that happen, those things, all of them, they have to happen. Who's talking? The Messiah. And this is what? It might take millions of years. It might take thousands of years. We do not know. If the Messiah do not know, then the Messiah do not know this too. Or this is the future. If the point is saying that if Jesus is God, he should know the future, well, the whole chapter is about Jesus knowing the future. If the point is to prove that Jesus is not God, well, here it says that the Messiah, when he come, he is coming in the cloud with the great power of glory. And then he will send his angels. How Jesus is not God, or he's trying to tell you he is not God, but yet he says his angels. Those are the angels of Jesus. Here you see how cowardly they refuse to read their books because their books get them busted. So the God of Islam do not understand the Trinity. When we ask him, what is the Trinity in Islam? He refused to tell us. He says some people believe that Mary is God. That's absolutely false. It doesn't say some people. And the Muslims, they say that the Quran is a perfect Arabic. This is why you see the stupid Muhammad in the Quran, he says. How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Why Allah is trying to say such a thing? If we Christians don't believe that God have a son from Mary. 
why he is saying how Allah can have a son and he don't have a girlfriend, chapter 6, verse 101. Simply because he's a stupid fool. He thinks that the God of the Christians, as they believe, he married from Mary. Mary, she become a wife. The wife, she deliver a son. And here this is showing us that Muhammad is a fraud. And if you want to say to me that this is, was for some people who believe in this, okay, where Allah, he talk about us then? <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? If this is, was for some people, where the Quran speak about us? Another Muslim saying, was Jesus praying? Yes, Jesus speak to the Father. Was Allah praying? Jesus, when he pray, he speak to the Father, praying to the Father. Allah, he pray, pray to who? Mimi Hijab, he said, and I quote, this is why the translation says he pray for, not to. <laughs> so you see, we don't have a problem because we believe, we live in a trinity. So when Jesus, he pray, you should ask, okay, who Jesus pray to? The to the Father. Isn't it Jesus, he says, Father, forgive them, they do not know what they are doing. Father, Allah, he is asking another God to forgive Muhammad. Read and love. So when Jesus says to the Father, forgive them, Father, do not know what they are doing. He's not even saying may, he says forgive them. Not I wish you forgive them. Look what your God says. This is the stupid Quran, and this is why the Muslims, they refuse to read it when we show them. And look at this funny, funny translation. May Allah, may Allah, Allah saying, may Allah forgive your sin. The Quran says, who can forgive sin beside Allah? Jesus forgives sin. Allah cannot. Because if Allah can forgive sin, he will not say, may Allah forgive your sin. Obviously, the one who made this verse, he is making a prayer, asking Allah to forgive. This is cannot be Allah if he's God talking. So the stupid Muhammad, he made this verse, claiming that his God told him this verse. But by doing that, he got himself busted. Because how Allah is God, and Allah making a wish, and what is the wish? To forgive the sin of Muhammad. So look what we see. The Bible says that Jesus forgives sin. The Muslim ignore that. The Quran says, who can forgive sin beside Allah? The Muslim ignore that. And they say to you, where Jesus is, I'm God. Hmm? Read this verse, verse and, and, and love. Madness, stupidity. Actually, I believe strongly that the Quran is trying to copy Jesus in everything. Chapter 48, verse number 2, Allah making a wish to forgive the sin of Muhammad. But in different verse, Allah confirming that who forgives sin beside Allah? Anyone else? If there's anyone else, Muslims? Yes, Jesus. Nobody forgives sin except Allah. Who forgives sin beside Allah? Nobody, Quran says. So how come the Muslim did not notice that Jesus will forgive sin? They notice only that he said only the Father knew the day of judgment. 
but I don't blame them. A bunch of fool following a foolish man, his name is Muhammad, who promised them endless penis. And you will notice right away, when a Muslim you try to show him from his book, that his God cannot be God, and we are not changing the topic, he refused to read, because that will get him busted. And not only that, in the Quran, and again, the, the verse in the front of us, this is chapter 3, verse 135, confirm that nobody forgives sin beside, beside Allah, anyone. And we have tons of verses in the Bible that says that Jesus, he forgives sin. In the top of that, Jesus, he can tell you what you had in your houses. How he can do that? Muhammad, he cannot. And the Quran confirmed that. Why Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses and Muhammad, he cannot. Any Muslim can explain. If Jesus is a prophet, Muhammad is a prophet. Why this prophet he can, that prophet he cannot? But isn't it the Quran says, only God knows the unseen? Look what the stupid Quran says. And by the way, when I quote the Quran, stupid, I'm just giving it a good uh, rank. Chapter 3, verse number 49. And chapter 5, verse 110. It says here that Jesus, he can tell you what you hide in your houses. He can tell you even what you ate. And this is a sign so you might believe. Believe in what? To believe in him. Muslims, am I saying the truth? That all those signs is to believe in Jesus or to believe in Allah? Who want to get me busted? Are they those signs is to believe in Jesus or to believe in Allah? Why Jesus have those signs? If you want to say to me, to believe in Allah, we love. Because I will show you something will make you cry. Let us see this Muslim here. Oh. Hello? Uh... How you doing? I'm fine, my friend. You are a Muslim? Yeah, I'm. I'm the same guy. You know the kid from Medina. Oh, like okay, two sorry. Days ago? Sorry, I, I, you know, I, I don't look at people. All right. Okay. Why Go not? Yeah. yeah, I joined. Uh, yeah, I have a small conversation with you. All right. On your live. Well, if it's okay. Sure, sure. Go ahead. What do you want to say? My... How you doing, sir? I'm fine. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Uh, uh, well, uh, regarding all those people that's joining you with no, with no, with no backings of their own stories, uh, or whatever they claim, don't you think? Uh, uh, don't you think that they should not be joining the debate at the beginning if they don't have no, any you see, evidence? This is, this is not a, my, my friend. This is not a debate. We are not debating Muslims. We we get them busted. You know, in order to debate somebody, yeah, you have to speak mm -hmm. to somebody is decent and honest, honesty. Is the, is the, let's say, the fuel of the debate. So if you want to debate a liar, you're not debating, you know, you're a liar, he can say whatever he wants. Right? Yeah. Th so, there, I mean, there's one more thing about that, though, uh, as well. I mean, don't you think, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, a person, uh, judging a person by saying a liar because he cannot prove it, that means the person does not have the actual knowledge from the beginning. No, there's a there's a like diff there's, there's a difference between saying a liar for his not knowing, 
you cannot you don't say that to a person liar if you really do not you do not know but there's no way the muslim let us say you call me to say to me uh, 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 mark uh, 13 said that right mark so, 13 oh, okay, okay. Uh, he's talking about the judgment day so i said to him huh? okay did you read the whole chapter or only that verse you copy paste he said the whole chapter <laughs> And then okay, when I said yeah. to him, oh, oh yeah, that's a lie. Yeah. yeah, he refused to say he read is... he, he, he said, "Well, it says that." Obviously, he did not read the chapter, so he's lying. <laughs> that is a lie. The yes, same as the Quran. The same as the Quran. When he said it says a group mm -hmm. of people. Okay, we so we ask him where it says that the group of people. You know, does it say that <laughs> really? That, or we are that, making things up? So so they that lie. That is considered lying. Yeah, just they, to they prove are... their point. Uh, yeah, that I'm that it's, I understand exactly. But so uh, lying is the way. I'm seeing a little bit of a exaggeration i'm seeing a lot of exaggeration yeah i know these people call you try to defend right it's good try to I, defend I'm, I'm without not, even having i'm not against them to defend I want, I want them to call me to defend mm -hmm. but be honest and you believe you see when you say to me the bible says that mm -hmm. i say yes i don't deny when you say to them the quran exactly. says that they deny you know that is the correct way that this, is the this, correct way this is telling you who is ashamed of his book who is not we know we don't we don't say okay jesus <laughs> well, he says well, no. the father jesus he said the father yeah okay but is it is that if you're trying to prove to me that jesus is not god mm -hmm. but he just said the father you know mm -hmm. so if oh, jesus okay, if so. jesus is the son of god he is saying that my father so it, it, you try to escape one thing that how jesus mm -hmm. can be god but the same verse says that mm -hmm. jesus he said he am the son of god and the one who will do that work is my father so what is the problem yeah well the thing is don't would that be like it will be like extremely easy for all the peoples like just to google the word uh, the word trinity what does it means and what is uh, the word trinity uh, stands for the meaning of and how the word came out through through bible and what does quran say about trinity it will be like very easy instead of calling them jesus is not god Trinity spirit is not god the father is not god just instead of claiming or coming to a, a conclusion without even knowing uh, that is like a little bit hypo a little bit of a hypocrisy even though they try to defend without any evidence trust, right? friend, trust me they knew they knew what christian believed they knew uh, no i way. don't i'm sorry i, I yeah let's not uh, let's not say that they knew let's okay, just say you, some of them you, knew but you, not when you, you as a, when you used to be a muslim did you know that the trinity is the father uh, the son of the spirit I'm, Sir, I am still, I think I already told you, right? Oh, you are still a Muslim? Uh, well, I have to be, I, you, you, you know, you your know. Mic you is, know. Uh, don't move your mic, please, because your mic is making noise. So, you still a Muslim now? Yes, I I think I already told you that. Like, okay. I don't want to mention it. Well, you know, I don't I know, know. I mean, it's because it's people, they call it's me, it's I don't know. I mean, people, they say things and then they change their mind or they... Uh, or maybe yeah, I, I am mixed about the people because there's many people call me. So let me ask you again. Are you as a Muslim now? You are a Muslim. Do you know what the Trinity is or you do not know? The, the Trinity. I have not uh, I have not searched about it. It's not even for Trinity you have, itself. You have a problem with the microphone, my friend. Can you fix your microphone? Okay, I will give you some time. I don't know, your microphone making noise. I will give you some time to call, to fix it. I will call you. Just give me one when you are done. Your voice your voice is cutting off badly. Uh, even right now? Okay, now it's better. Go ahead. Okay, I just pulled off the mic, the headset. I'm All just right. using the phone. Okay, yeah, perfect. All right. So, you as a Muslim, when you say, I do not know what the Trinity is. So, how you can debate me about the Trinity if you do not know what the Trinity in Christian belief? No, uh, yeah, you just uh, the, the what we are talking about is people who are who does not know the Trinity, and okay, they know, still do, claim. That, do you know the Trinity yourself? What, my understanding. I'm not talking about my understanding or my knowledge. Uh -huh. I'm just talking about the, the claims that people make about the Trinity. Yeah, but you are a Muslim like them. So when a Muslim, I'm trying to understand how Muslim they make their claims. So you as a Muslim. How you mm -hmm. learn about the Trinity? Do you learn about it from the Quran or from my book? Uh, actually, from from your videos. To be okay. Honest. So the Quran failed to tell you what we believe in, correct? Uh, which part? Uh, first of all, let's uh, 
let's not uh, tell that the Quran says that or that did that. Why not? We can, uh, I'm asking you, yeah. okay, I'm asking you the right question. Because if the Quran can tell you what the Trinity is, then you do not need my videos. Is that the full concept of the question? I mean, there it's should so be like additional... Okay, my friend, if Allah, the Quran is the book of guidance, isn't it? Uh, that is correct, yes. Okay, so when Allah, he speaks to the Christians about the Trinity, shouldn't Allah knew what the Trinity is? Allah should, of course, because... Okay. Uh, so uh, you as a Muslim, in order to understand the topic which Allah is speaking about in the Quran, shouldn't he explain to you too? Or he can only uh, explain to the Christians? Sir... Mm. Uh, you you are correct. You are correct about that. Mm. Uh, the explaining the Trinity uh, is not the uh, should be the job of the prophets, right? What uh, why the Trinity? For example, uh, if, uh, if Jesus uh, if if Jesus was telling to 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 their disciples about the about the Trinity, uh, I mean yes, it should be mentioned in the books, right? Mm. At least uh, or translated in the books. So, for example, uh, like, you know, you you told me to read the Bible, and I did. Okay. So, I downloaded the, I downloaded the Audible because the, I'm dyslexic. Mm. Uh, yeah, my vision, my vision gets blurry. So, yeah, I downloaded the Audible. So, I did have some choices on choosing, uh, on choosing. So, I did search through Google to download, uh, how to download and how to start. So, yeah, the Old Testament... Uh, I, uh, the the verbal uh, the vo uh, what is it called audible of uh, of the of the let, Old let, Testament. Let us focus on the question, in my friend. Let us focus on the question. The Trinity. How you learn about the Trinity? Can you learn about it from the Quran? Uh, I if I make search, I may. Yes. Okay, I will give you a thousand year to give me the answer from the Quran. A challenge between a friend, I... friendly challenge between me. You, you know, what do you mean? You said if you may, yes, do it. Show me where the <laughs> Trinity in the Quran and how the Trinity work and what is the Trinity. You will sign that. We just I don't know if you were listening. I just showed the guy that the Trinity in the Quran it is Jesus, Mary, and Allah. Mm -hmm. But we don't believe in such a thing. Oh, okay, so so where is uh, where is our Trinity? You know, if if Allah is saying to the Christian, don't believe in the Trinity, shouldn't he first knows what the Trinity is? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, for example, uh, like in the Bible, uh, let me translate that from Arabic to English. It's, it goes like, uh, uh, "Oh Israel, the Lord, uh, the Lord, uh, the Lord our God is one Lord." That's uh, that is in the in the Bible itself, and I think there is one more. Uh, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. So, the in these uh, in these scriptures, like also there's another one saying, uh, "In your God is one God. There is no God but He." Hmm. That is in the Quran, I think. I think. Yeah, I got well, that. Muhammad from the Quran. was trying to copy from the Bible, but my friend, the word is used in the Bible. It's called. It says Echad. Echad. Is not one as a as a person. It's a unity. That's why the the, the same the same word is used when speaking about uh, the women and the man get married. So when the man and the woman they get married, they become a chad, a chad. But the man and the women they will not become one as a as a person, right? Still, the man is a man and the woman is a woman. Do, do you understand? Sure. Sir, uh, you, uh, I, I was saying something, and you started to add on it. Uh, I got confused, and I couldn't, no, you I were couldn't saying understand. To me, no, you were saying to me that the Bible says the word Echad, and the Echad... No, hold on, hold on. I did not say, the, I did not even, uh, I, I don't think I came to that part yet. No, you came to that part. No. You said to me the Bible says God is one, right? The God... Uh, Oh, yeah, here, oh, Israel, yeah. the Lord... So I'm explaining to you one. what the word one there. The word one, this is the English translation. The echad is a word mean unity, not one person. So is the, so in the in the Bible, in the Mark 12, 29, so the one, uh, one Lord means uh, the, echad? It is, it is unity when you speak. As an example, if we go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6. Read from verse number four to seven. 
you will see that the man, this is the same verse you're reading, actually. This is the same verse you're reading. You know, you will see here it says, your Lord is one. You know, chapter chapter 6, verse number 4 and, and 7 to 7. Yeah. Your your God is one, right? The It says, oh, oh Israel, uh -huh. uh, the Lord, our God is one Lord. Exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. And then we will find that the same word used to speak about the man and the women get, getting married. So the man, when, the man in a man and the women, when they get married, uh, they will become a God. But they are two. They are not one. It's just like uh, the word Ahad. Is that what you're saying? No, Ahad does not even mean that because Ahad is the wrong word because Ahad is one of. Uhadi, yani no. singular. No, uh, Uhadi is, had. yeah. But when you say Ahad, you, you speak Arabic, you have to say Ahad of what? Ahadu Tullab, Ahadu Al Asadiza, Ahadu Al Hamir, Ahadu Al Majanin, Ahadu Al La Baqira. So Ahad is one oh. of, right? And Ihda, yes. Okay, so when we go, when, uh, when, we, when we see the word Ikhad in the Hebrew, we will find this word does not mean one. The same as a number it is a unity if we go to genesis chapter 2 verse number 24 we will find that it says that the man and the women the man he will leave his father and his mother and he is going to unite with his wife what is the word unite there is a genesis uh, sorry genesis 2 chapter 20, chap, chapter chapter 2 genesis verse mm -hmm. number verse number 24 24. Uh, I'm just doing it uh, through the Google if you don't mind. No because problem. you know, I, uh, I, I'd like to read it in Arabic. So, you know, I'm mostly understanding in the Arabic. No problem. I'm sorry. If I'm taking too long or wasting yeah, your time, right. I just want to apologize. No, it's all right. You can take the reference for later if you want. So, anyway, so no. the men and the women. The man and the women, they will become echa. This is the exact same word. You can go check it in, check, check, check the word in the Hebrew uh, Old Testament, which is the Jewish, you know? I mean, a Jewish print. This is not a Christian print. Go and find it in, even in a Jewish print. So it is echad, and obviously echad does not mean one as a one person because the wife is a woman, the man is a man, and they are not one person. But when they get married, they become echad. What does that mean? There's a unity. Oh, okay. So uh, it says here the chapter uh, uh, verses 24. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, and this is exactly mentioned no. the same in chapter 19, verse number 5 in Matthew. So uh, in Matthew, it's copying what? Copying what the Old Testament says. Exactly the same. So but the person and the same in Mark, you know, so they become one person, but uh, I mean, you know, uh, one unity, but not one person because simply the woman is a woman, the man is a man. They are not, we are not octopus, you know, like we became one body, have four legs. You know what I mean? You don't have to explain it that in, in that dumb yeah, way. I mean, I'm, not, I'm... not necessarily to you. I mean, there's people listening too, right? So obviously, echad, as long as it's the same word is used, obviously, echad. It doesn't mean one person. It means more than one. It is a unity. So why God he chose to use echad when he can choose different word? Yep. Yeah, that uh, that is correct. Here, right. yeah, I mean, it's mentioned. Now, it's even Arabic, Arabic, now let us go to the Arabic. If I ask you what is the uh, the oneness of God in Arabic, what Muslim they say? Tell me. Uh, I now I for that that question. Yeah, Imagine if I they say they say to, they say tawhid, right? Uh, yes, uh, they would. Uh, I'm. I'm not gonna say that they would say tawhid, but should they say tawhid? If okay. They have any clue about All answer right. exactly. Is it tawhid mean unification? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Tawhid. So, had... so if the Muslim they don't believe that God is more than one person, why they are using the word tawhid? Hold on. Uh, hold on. Now you're just coming to a conclusion. Where does uh, how how did that came to like? The question that you ask me, you, uh, you just uh, agreed. You just agreed that the word Tawhid mean unification. Yes, I agreed on okay. the translation of the word. 
No, not translation. I want you as an Arab tell me what word mean. The word mean unification. The word to do al Arabia to unify to unite the the Arabian countries. Right. Okay. So. Exactly. Okay. I know. So. Tawheed is not the same as Mutahida. Mutahida is in the past. Tawheed is now. We are, you know, processing. We are unifying. So Tawheed means unifying. So if Allah is one, how we how we can unify Allah if He's already one? Yes, uh, there is a there is a question that kind of needs additional, uh, you know, why, details. Why can you every add? Muslim I speak to him, he says to me, I need additional, you know. I mean, so what we are doing here? You you speak Arabic, you have no excuse. I speak Arabic, I have no excuse. Can you agree Tawheed mean unification? So if Allah is one, why why the Muslim use the word Tawheed? You should not use the word Tawheed. Uh, sir, hmm. uh, yeah, you put up like a lot of things just uh, to say the word Tawheed. Can you explain me how, where does the, the word Tawheed generated and also related to Allah and the Quran? Well, you, this is a question you ask to the Muslims. They are, it's the Muslims who keep saying Tawheed, Tawheed, Tawheed. And then uh, uh, you, we find but, that the Tawheed does not even exist. Like I, uh, sir, like I said, I am dyslexic. Can you like take it slow to me? So, slow okay. on me like that. Let's not, uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, my, my friend. question that, I'm, uh, that okay. I just asked was uh, when, Tawheed. When I, and, speak, when I speak to a Muslim, they give us headache with the Tawheed. Okay. Okay. Then, then the second we ask, what is the word Tawheed mean? They say mean the oneness of Allah. But this is a lie. Because Tawheed means unification. If Allah uh -huh. is one already, then we uh -huh. do not need to use such a word. They have to agree then they are using wrong word. Because Tawheed uh -huh. is to put together something is not together. Hmm. Like a key of furniture. Yeah. And then you will see Muhammad in the Quran, in the Hadith, he says, hmm. ila an Allah. Ask them to unify Allah. But how you can unify Allah if it's Allah one? <laughs> yes, that is a question. Okay, look at the, uh, the question. So that's the question, right? Uh, say that again. Idah hum an yuwahidullah. Ask them, ask them. To unify Allah. Mm -hmm. How you can unify Allah if Allah is one? Uh, so, sorry, say again one more time. And you wahidu Allah. You wahidu. You wahidu. You wahidu Allah. What you wahidu mean? You wahidu is the same oh, unification. Uh, so, the hadith in front of you in Arabic. This is Al Bukhari. Okay, let me open YouTube then. Uh, it says, one second. It, it says, uh, I'm barely. Yeah, take your time. Go ahead. One second. One second. I just need to mute the YouTube. Yes. No problem. I don't know how to mute the YouTube when I'm com communicating with you. No problem. Uh, I, so I'm just gonna go to the website. Hey, yes, I'm sorry, 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 I'm فليكن أول ما تدعوهم إلى أن يوحدوا الله. The first thing I want you to do, ask them to unify Allah. How Allah is one, and He says يوحدوا الله. You see the word توحيد. This is where the word توحيد coming from. This is Muhammad. Muhammad is the one who fabricated this word. He added in the hadith. It's not, it's not in the Quran. So, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so you just made, uh, so you just saw the ayah in the Quran. Uh, and you just take the literal, uh, understand the, the literal translation and what it means that unify to Allah. Can you tell me uh, 
I'm sorry if you know, if I'm the, if I'm being a little bit slow. Could you tell me that the, the verse and the name of the surah? This is not Quran, my friend. This is in the Quran. It's not exist. The word of does not exist. But here, this is hadith. This is hadith Sahih Bukhari, hadith number seven three seven two, and this is very sahih. Seven, this is very sahih. So we find the tawheed in the hadith. We don't find it in in the in the stupid Quran. So here we ask ourselves: If Muslims, if yeah. Muhammad he knew Arabic very well, and if Muhammad he speak mm -hmm. Arabic very well, how in the world he used the word tawheed when Allah is already one? Uh, can you give me the number of hadith if you don't mind? Hadith number seven three seven two, Sahih al-Bukhari. Three seven three two. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm just searching for it if you don't mind holding on. Well, you know, you need to search, search in English because English numbers is not the same as Arabic numbers. Just take a note of that. So, search in English. Huh? Uh, okay, I'll search it in English. That will be well, easier. Open, open sunnah.com. Open sunnah.com. Okay. And just to try to copy the same sentence, like be the Tawheed of Allah. Okay. Just, just copy yeah. the same sentence, put it in the search engine, you will find the hadith. The Tawheed of Allah. Yeah, I, I searched it on Google. Uh, yeah, it is a sunnah.com, teaching of the Prophet. Uh, and the yeah, chapter, I'm not the, cha sure. the chapter number is, chapter name is, Prophet S-A-W-S inviting his followers to Tawheed of Allah. Well, if Allah is one, how we we use the word Tawheed? Because Tawheed means yeah. Tawheed is not even Ikhad, You see, Ikhad, Ikhad is it mean one as unity. Tawheed, we need to fix him. That means Allah is broken mm -hmm. pieces. We have to put him together. Don't you think? Don't you think that there is a little bit of uh, understanding to do? Like for example, and oh, unless if it means. Uh, on the, the on the translation, don't you think that it means uh, and uh, Allah, they become one, they become one to Allah. But my friend, Tawheed, uh -huh. we how many times we need uh -huh. to repeat? Tawheed is the wrong word, because if you are going to say Allah is one, you do not, you should not use the word Tawheed. You should say Allah is one. So uh, let's just say that's uh, Wahid, Allah Wahid. That's it. Tawheed. But Tawheed is an act, is an action to unify things are not together. You have to put them together. So Tawheed, uh -huh. okay. something is divided and or, or something is uh, not the same person or it's not the same object. We want to make them one object. That's what Tawheed is. So, so if Allah is one, how we can use uh -huh. the word Tawheed? This is the point. Allah, yes. Allah is one already, supposedly. So the word Tawheed is wrong. Mm, uh, so uh, what you, uh, the correct word should have been used was and you wahidu ilallah. Wahid, wahid. Wahid, not you No, not you wahidu. Wahid. Wahid. ilallah il wahid. That's it. That's it. Okay. Because you wahidu, what you wahidu mean? This is very funny. I mean, how in the world you say you wahidu? I'm, uh, so I'm just telling from my knowledge. And yeah, you, my friend, and you okay. wahidu. But anyway, we will go with this. Listen. Uh, uh, is Allah is one or two? Uh, uh, I mean, you already know the answer, but uh, I'm no, not I, sure I, why you're trying. You, I want your answer, uh, sir. Okay. okay. How what? Allah is wahid and He is ahad in the same time? Okay. Yeah, exactly. In this in this sentence, wahid al-ahad, the one and only. No. Yes. No. Ahad. If I type the word ahad now in the Quran. We will find that every single verse will take me to say one of. Uh, I'm gonna type exactly the same thing. Okay, here uh, we go. I just, I just type the word ahad. You can do the same. Go to QuranWall.com. Type the word ahad. Look how many times I see it. All of them. Choose any verse. It says one of. One of. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, if you, if I mean, we're just taking one word. That's it. We should take the entire My thing. Friend, so let's all just of them, all of them, they have word after them and word after after them before them, right? This was this, yeah. is, this is how the word can be used. So all of them they have word after it. So how come all of them they mean one off? 
All of them be awards Steve, after it. The question, uh, the question that you're asking is, is just like the way that you explain it to everyone. It's like uh, not the correct uh, question. Mm. Why? It's like. Uh, it's like uh, like Zachary Naik said in his videos, hmm. and the way he's like, can you take left and right? Yeah, Zachary Naik, <laughs> he said that somebody says to him, uh, how, who created God? And Zachary Naik, he wanted to refute the atheist, he said, it's like saying that John, he said, I went to the hospital and I gave birth. But this is silly, because... Uh, yeah, but, but, you, because, yeah. But this is, is the, this, is, this is a silly answer. He's still asking you how God came to existence. Mm -hmm. What John... Uh, cannot give birth have to do with the answer well john cannot give birth is that does that mean allah cannot give allah cannot the same as john that means john and allah are not god because john cannot for he is not god but god he can i mean we call him almighty because he is the only person who can do anything john cannot do this is why he is john yeah. he is not a god so the Muslim, they have a very funny logic about what God do. As an example, when can no, Allah no, no, can, can, can Allah have a son? Muhammad. Sorry, sorry. Muhammad, can, sorry. can Allah can Allah have a son, Muhammad? Hold on, uh, we are just opening multiple subjects without even focusing no, no, on the we, same we, thing. No, we are talking about the same thing because if Allah can be one, go back. Let's go back. Can Allah be one? No. Can Allah can be one or He is one? Uh, Sir, uh, what I was uh, what I was saying is he said he did not let, let complete as uh, what you were saying uh, was uh, ahad, and I said the complete sentence is wahid al ahad. Where and when we where can you see hmm. how where does uh, what is where? Go to chapter one twelve, verse number one huh? and two and three and four and love. It says here, "Qul huwa Allah ahad." Sir, hmm. hold on, one second. Uh, we were talking about uh, what, uh, Allah is one. Mm. Is it one or two? What was your question? And I replied by, and Allah mm. wahid uh, al Okay. Mm. Uh, what does that mean? Wahid al ahad. But you took the uh, translation That's of ahad. is one in, in united one. Okay, hold on. Uh, you you just took the word ahad without taking the in Allah wahid al ahad. I just put them together. It's, what are you listening? Fardu samad. You know. I am listening, but uh, I'm just trying to get you the the answer that you're looking for, uh, because uh, I'm uh, what I'm trying to. Uh, do you know what, what, do you know what the word "samad" mean? So, uh, hold on, there is multiple translations of the word "samad." I don't care about translation. Listen. You speak Arabic. Do you know what "samad" mean? Uh, yes, but there is multiple answers to Listen "samad." Because... Do you know what the word "samad" mean? I don't care what multiple. They don't multiple. What's wrong with this religion? Is your God Allah using? correct or easy word to describe himself or he's a foolish man he decided to choose words nobody knows what they mean so everybody give his own interpretation what else have you ever heard of the word masmuda uh, so how come the uh, have you like ever heard that, of the word masmuda yeah the, okay, what masmuda uh, mean? The, the saving box you know saving where box, we put exactly the... so allah is a summit allah is a collection we put them in one hole allah is a had was Samad. So Allah is a collection of God. All together, they make Wahid. They make united God. So Allah is Samad. Allah is Samad. So He is one of many united. Sir, so the word Samad, uh, you got, uh, you, you translated the word and you explained it. So there is another meaning of the word samad. Can false, you also do false that? False meaning. This is all is false. Where you get this? First of all, of all, the word samad is not even Arabic. This is Aramaic. So in order to understand it, we have only to go by the Aramaic. Look what the Muslim they say. Allah samad means self-sufficient. Where do they get this from? In which language? Uh, <laughs> uh, you just uh, jumped again, sir. No, like I this, said, is I am... not, this is not Arabic. A samad is an Aramaic word. So how it became self-sufficient, I just ask you, what Masmuda mean? You said to me, the box where we collect the money, there's a hole in it. You push your, your coin inside, and then one day when you want to collect the money, you break it. It's a collector, it's a collection. So Allah is a collection. That is Masmud. Masmud, okay, let me ask you. There was, a, a, there was a, an idol, his name is God, his name is Masmud. Idol? Hmm? 
idol by the name of Masmoud. Uh -huh. I think you have answer for that. I believe you. The, you're the one who researched it. it so it I matter. think you know the answer. So I'm asking you: Is it true? Uh, how can I how can I answer that without having the knowledge? Why you don't have the knowledge? I don't know the if there was or is um, mm -hmm. sculpture or anything that is that was named uh, okay. Samad. Mm. Well, let us see what uh, what uh, Ibn Kathir, and even, you know the, the funny is that the Muslims when they try to fix uh, when they try to fix their Quran and their stupidity of the tafsir of the Quran, they uh, they have to delete things. Look with me in the screen. I don't know if you can see the screen. I can't. This uh, is, if I turn this is Ibn video, Kathir. It... This is a copy, photocopy of Ibn Kathir. Uh huh. كانوا يعبدون أصناما فصنم يقال له صداء وآخر يقال له صمود. Do you see it? I'm I'm hearing you. I cannot see it. If I turn on the YouTube on the same mobile, okay. Later you can look. Later you can look for it. But if we go to Nick Athir, the one published in the internet, they took it off. What they what they have now? Let me show you what they have. You know, look at this. Look at this here. This is here different version. Here it says, "Fasanam yuqalu lahu Samad." Sanam, it's an idol. It's a Samad. Samad, yeah. So this is what it says in front of your eyes. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. What the Muslim they do? They delete it, but too late. I mean, the people have millions of people have the books already in Arabic. Okay. Yes. That's correct. Uh, what um, uh, um, uh, I don't want to be brain scattered again. So we were talking about Samad, right? And yeah. so Samad you said and Samud, Samad and Samud, both of them they are idols. What this <laughs> idol is? He is a hole. He is a box. People they put donation inside him. Why? Because he is the collector of gods. All gods are inside. So Allah who is Ahad, Ahad is one of the idols. A Samad. He is the collector of all gods. They are going to be inside him. He did not give birth, therefore he was an idol. And nobody is equal for him. There was nothing like this god. Why nothing like him? But this is the only idol they have. No, nothing like it. Uh, okay. So you give me the 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 name Samad was used as a uh, as uh, as uh, to describe. Uh, to what? Uh, a summit. I'm idols. showing you what the summit is. This is Ibn Kathir yeah, saying, no. Ibn Kathir saying there is an idol, God idol, mm -hmm. a pagan God statues mm -hmm. around the Kaaba. One mm -hmm. of them is called Samad. The other one is called Samud. Uh, and, I, so, uh, and I show you the reference. And this is the oh, Tafsir. Yeah, this is Ibn Kathir. This is the Tafsir okay. for the same verse, chapter 112. But uh, Mr. CP, hmm. we were talking about the word "summit," and you started to add on add on different things for "summit." Uh, I'm not like adding, I said, my friend. This is what the word means. What's wrong with you? I'm showing you what the word means. "Summit" does not mean what they say. The self-sufficient. Hold on, boss. Uh, sorry. Uh, we were saying. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, let me say this once again. I am dyslexic, so when there is like multiple things coming onto my head, I just my okay. brain just I gave you enough information for today. I want you to review the video again. Search all the reference I gave you. Think about it. Study it more. And then you call me maybe tomorrow. What do you think? No, I will open the video. And yes, uh, take everything. And I will explain it to you. So right. uh, before, before we end this conversation, sorry. All right. Kerimat Samad, I think you're also, uh, you understand Arabic. Hmm. Uh, can you tell me the more different versions of the word Samad? There's only this. Is, uh, this is not. There's no version of it. This is Arabic. This is not Arabic word. This is Aramaic. And Samad mean the collector, the collection, or the collector. So it has to be a collection of things where you put them together. This is what Masmuda came yeah. from. Coming from the Aramaic language, there's no other meaning. And when the Muslim now trying to fix it, they are trying to find the meaning because this is an, a word. Like as an example, if I say to you, Yasin, what Yasin mean? That is a different question. Now you're adding no, 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 different I'm not, things. I'm not adding. I'm not adding. Just to give you an example, how Muslims desperately they do not know what their God is about. What Yasin mean? 
Sir, help me, please. I'm helping you. Help me. I'm asking you now. What Yasin mean? Do you know? Uh, you uh, hold on. The, we are still on the subject. Of we are in the subject. Someone. We are showing you that this is all Aramaic. Muhammad is a fraud. Read. This That's is Ibn Abbas. This is Ibn Abbas. He says from the narration, from the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, upon the interpretation of Allah saying, uh, Ya Sin, he said, Ya Sin, mean a human being in the Syriac language. Like, what the heck? If we, like open, my... if we open, hold on, my friend, you, you just listen to me on YouTube. If we open the, the Aramaic dictionary, we will laugh. The Muslim, they understood very well that this is a pure Aramaic. They don't know what it means. If Allah is speaking to the Arab, why he is he speaking in Aramaic? If it's mean a human, can't Allah use the word human in Arabic? Why he is using Aramaic? Because Muhammad is a fraud. He is copying from a book. He do not know what the word mean. You change the translator. Let us see the, the interpretation. This is a Jalalain. A Jalalain. He say nobody knows what they mean. This is the interpretation. Nobody knows what they mean. And the same for us summer. They don't know. They are just guessing. Every potato Abdul, he gave his own guessing. It's like somebody in the old days, they want to wash clothes. And I can do better. Let me show you. He grabbed the trouser or the underwear. It's full of poo, poo Squeeze it more. Oh, you did not do good. I would do better. Let me show you. Yeah, sin. Yeah is a word meaning God. Sin is the name of the God. And the word sin is until now used in the Latin and English. That's why we say this is sin. Sin is the name of the moon God, pagan. So when, when they start saying this is sin, using the word sin, they mean pagan. Sin is the moon God. Yeah is a word meaning God. Your God is the moon God. What Yasin is? Yeah. Go search it in Google right now. Is Yah mean the word God? Yes. Sin is the name of the God. Which God is sin? Is moon God. Where we can't find the temple is in Yemen. If we go right now and check the Kaaba, we will find there's a corner. It's called the Yemeni corner. Why it's called Yemeni corner? Because there is a stones. They brought them from the moon god temple in Yemen. To build the Kaaba. People, the original temple was in Yemen. People, they go all the way there. The people of Mecca, they decided to open a branch. And not only them, there was more than 16 Kaaba. More than 16. So what they do, they bring some stones from the temple of al Makkah, as it's called today in English. al Makkah. You can search it in Google. And they put it in the corner of the Kaaba. And Muhammad later, he says, if you touch it, it erase your sin. Because it's what the Arab believe. So if we go here, let's, let us do this. Let me show you some pictures. Guys, are you getting tired? Are you getting tired? Maybe I should stop for now. You guys may be getting tired huh, for long. This is the Yemeni corner. The Kaaba have holes, vag vaginas, many vagina. There's a vagina for the black stone, opening and zipper. And there's a vagina here. This is the Yemeni corner. If you look with me here, you will see there's a stones. They have different color from the other stones. Why? Because supposedly they are not local. They are brought all the way from Yemen. And the Muslims, they fight over it to touch it. 
For Muhammad, he says, if you touch it, it erase your sin. That's why they have this opening in the skirt of the Kaaba, because the Kaaba is a woman, and the Kaaba has two vagina. One is the black stone, is the front door, and one is the back door, it is the Yemeni corner. Pagan. Islam is nothing but pagan religion. And they bow down around it and they worship it. The Muslim, they will say to you, we don't worship this. If you don't, then how those stones erase your sin? And why you touch them? Ask any Muslim, why you touch this? Uh, um, he called me. Yes, Muhammad. Uh, sir. Uh, oh? Yeah, what? Yeah, I apologize earlier. I definitely do want to apologize. Yes, you are correct. Uh, like I said, I am studying Bible. Uh, I just uh, the also one of the question, uh, one of the things that I desperately wanted to ask you: hmm. Where should I start? Because let's just say uh, a person who's trying to get into a new knowledge. What uh, what would you recommend? Hmm. Like my starting point to 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 start reading. Before you start reading, you have to first deny Islam, leave Islam, and then you start reading. Before that, you are wasting your time. So, you know, study your religion, study your religion, see if it's true or not. And then when you come to the conclusion, you start reading the Sir, Bible. You know, yeah, one second. So, like, you already read the Quran without turning to Islam. Don't, don't you think that I should also do the same thing, like, at least... Let me try to read. No, I did you not know, start reading the Quran when I am ignorant about my belief. I start reading the Quran after I became a person who knows what is my belief. Then I start oh. reading the Quran, and then okay. I found I... that it is funny, stupid, written by an idiot. Okay, that, I mean, that is your claim. No, but, it's uh, not my claim. I, I prove it. Here we go. Can you refute any of my claim? No, one second. Uh, like I said, sir, I am dyslexic. Perfect, uh, perfect. Uh, well, you, you just said, you, you say this is my claim. Can you refute any, a single claim I said? Yeah, you just claim that, uh, you said like, uh, well, in book is stupid or blah, stupid and other. Okay, no, well, okay, here we go. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to give an example. If I no, ask uh, you, if I ask you, where I, is, who is the thunder? Who is the thunder? Thunder? Yeah. Thunder. The thunder, yeah. Thunder? Is the thunder is an angel? No, sender means what? Hmm. Mursil. No, thunder, a rod, a rod, thunder, thunderbolt. Thunder, hmm. yes, that is uh, that is thunder, okay. In your religion, thunder. the thunder is an angel. Uh, right, yes, what about a rod? It's an angel. Uh, sir? Sir, the thunder is Did an angel. Oh, my, my, I'm sorry, I just need to, I've, I've been pressing things. Yeah, I know that you don't have too much time for me, so can we, uh, can you help me with the, uh, uh, with the first question that I asked? What is the first question? That, that I asked uh, on the second call, I said, what would you recommend me to start reading? Because uh, when, when I made the research, yeah, it was a little bit uh, confusing because I couldn't find the beginner's, uh, 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 the beginner's guide my friend i just yes. answer you you are repeating the same question mm -hmm. if you want to read mm -hmm. about christianity mm -hmm. before you start reading about christianity mm -hmm. you should learn about your religion first is your religion is a good religion or it's a bad religion then you make the decision mm -hmm. you say oh are my religion is good now i'm going to read the christianity i want to laugh at it no problem mm -hmm. but first oh. you need to, first you need to be sure if you believe in the true God or not. So I, I advise you. Like a lot of hate. <laughs> huh? It seems like that you have a lot of hate because you're not, uh, I mean, you're, you're not recommending me the start point. For example, yes. What, what do you mean I, I have a no... lot of hate? If I have a hate, I will hang up on you. I mean, are you, you are giving me a headache since uh, uh, we are talking for the last hour. And you keep saying to me, I don't understand and I'm slow and I'm etc. And I keep repeating. So if I hate yeah. you, I will hang up on you. I mean, you already did, but uh, that's why I came back no, and agreed. started You apologizing. said, okay, I'm going to search and etc. Yes, I am. I was literally searching, but... Uh, okay. I, I, I like, so what, what, do I you, little... what do you want me to do exactly? I uh, This is my opinion. You asked me for my opinion. I told you my opinion. 
before you read about Christianity, you better decide if Islam is a good religion or not. If it's a good religion, you should know your religion, and then you talk about Christianity and you learn about it after you know your religion. And if you want to learn about the Christianity, then if you want to be honest and you want mm -hmm. to say, I'm a Muslim, then you should not look at Christianity from the eyes of a Muslim. Because what the Muslim they do, they right. are not reading the Bible to understand the Christianity. They are reading the mm -hmm. Bible to think it is bad to laugh at it. So if you want to read the Bible, you have to be clean from all assumption. Don't assume. Don't make false fiction. Don't go by what they taught you. This is what I'm trying to say to you. The Quran told you that Christians are liars. Are we? First of all, the Quran says yes, to you, the, the Muslim, they say we corrupt the book. So are we? The Muslim, they says to you that Bible is full of garbage. Does mm -hmm. it? So before you read, you need to finish first or first with the garbage you have. So if you if you agree that the Quran is a book of garbage and everything they say to you about Christianity is false, then you can mm -hmm. understand the Bible very well because now you are not making assumption. But if you go and read the Bible as a Muslim, you have already a pre-made decision about what the Bible is. Uh huh. Hmm. So how can I how can I prove that? Like to prove it, I should uh, I should read it, right? I'm talking about your, uh, uh, you. Okay. It's, it's, yeah. So when yeah. you read the Bible, when you read the Bible, do you agree with the uh, Quran that Jesus is not the Son of God? Sorry, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, like you said, I'm. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, let's just say my book said uh, the the uh, the occurring corruptions in the Bible. Hmm. Okay, hmm. and the Bible is a lie. For hmm. example, I'm not. I don't know. Okay, no problem. But uh, this is what you think. Hmm. So what I'm saying is, how can I prove that is correct? This is why I said to you. How to... can I prove that that is? This how is... can I? How can I research that? Uh, this is so the, I this is the to, question. Uh, you see, here here now you start getting smarter. <laughs> We have a stupid guy, his name is Muhammad. He came 600 years after Jesus. How he knew that Hello? this book is corrupt or not? He was not there. Exactly. How, he, how? How? He wasn't there. Okay, he wasn't there. Okay, so, uh, do, we uh, have original, okay. Uh, do we have original copy to compare it? Uh, let's just say, uh, I wanna, uh, let's just say, uh, I'm just a regular guy. And I want to. Uh, I want to. I want to prove. My friend, you are a, uh, you are a regular guy or regular an elephant. If we want to compare between two things, one is original and one is not original. We should have the original, so we can compare it. So and we can. Yeah. So do Muhammad exactly. have the original? And uh, how do I know that uh, the prophet has the That's original? Why I say to you, read your Quran, because in your stupid Quran you will see that Muhammad agree with the book we have. But he don't have anything. Look what the Quran says. Hold on. You see, if you watch from the beginning, it says that the Quran confirm what is between our hand. All right. So this is why I said to you, read your Quran. What is between our hands? The Muslim in the translation, and you, because you speak Arabic, they cannot fool you. Chapter two, verse number sixty-six. It says. Actually, forget about this one. Chapter two, verse number ninety-seven. It says. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi. Believing, be, oh, listen, believing in what is between his hands. If you go to the stupid translation, you will see they took it off. So in order to see if we have a book corrupted or not, then you have to read the Quran and see if this is true or not. Because this is your book. This is where you take information from. The Quran says, believing in what he have between his hands okay that's mean that there is a book and it is between his hands and he okay. believe in it but look at the muslim translation they say confirming what came before it but the quran doesn't I say will that watch the video okay uh, so that's what i'm saying to you my friend again. you are making me lose my patience with you Hello. so in order to discover who is the liar uh -huh. we need to discover we need to study the document this is a fraud um, because sure. if Muhammad, hold on, if Muhammad, he have a book between his hand and he is confirming the book between his hand and, uh -huh. the, and the book between his hand says what Muhammad said, the Christian believe that they believe that Jesus is God. So how he confirm mm -hmm. it? Sir, 
Uh, sir, call me tomorrow. I am done with you. Sorry, I, I cannot take you no more. At least for today. When somebody says the book is corrupted, and then the stupid book says, confirming what is between his hand, and the liar, the Muhammadan, they change the translator. So who is the one is a fabricator? It's not us who take the words and will replace them with different meaning. There's nowhere in the verse says confirming what went before it, came before it. There's no came before it. There's no such a thing. The Arabic is so clear. Musaddiqan mean believe. Lima to which? Baina mean between. Yadayhi, his hands. So he believed in a book, which is the book of the Christians, which is between his hands. 